Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to go back to the basics. I wanted to talk about Hex. I wanted to show you how you can start staking Hex. And I wanted to give you some strategy when it comes to staking your Hex. So if you want to learn more about Hex, you wanted to learn how you can start using Hex for what it was created for and actually create some passive income with Hex, you're going to want to pay attention. You're going to want to watch through this video. So let's get started. All right, here we are on the web page. This is Hex.com. This is the website. And before we really dig into this, before we really get started, let me remind you that this isn't financial advice. This is crypto. You need to do your own research when it comes to crypto and come up with your own decisions when it comes to buying and investing in any cryptocurrency, building a portfolio. All right. So let's get started and talk about Hex, how to stake Hex, how to create passive income with Hex. Okay. What is Hex? What's it all about? Right? Well, Hex. It's a cryptocurrency, it's a token, and it was created with a purpose, all right? This protocol, HEX, it was completed when it launched, okay? That's something important to notice is this. A lot of crypto projects, they launch and then they still need a lot of development as time goes on. Well, HEX didn't. HEX launched complete. It launched finished. It launched ready to go, nothing more to do. In fact, when it launched, it launched as an immutable contract. It is an immutable smart contract on the blockchain. What the heck does that mean, right? I know, I hear you. Well, what that means is this contract, the code was written and then it cannot be changed. It cannot be taken down. It was created and finished. You now have to rely on the code to do what it was programmed to do. Well, what was it programmed to do? It was programmed to produce a yield. That's what it was created for. It's intended for you to buy some hex, lock it up in the protocol for a period of time, and you will receive a yield. It is the first CD or certificate of deposit on the blockchain. Well, in traditional finance, a CD, certificate of deposit, is where you can go to the bank, deposit your money, lock it up in a contract at the bank, a year term, two year term, or a five year term. And at the end of that term, you will receive your cash back plus interest. Well, that's the same thing with hex. You take your hex and you lock it up for a period of time of your choosing. And at the end of that period of time, you will receive your hex back plus interest, which is called a yield actually. Okay. So you're going to earn a yield, an APY, an annual percentage yield on your hex. The yield is produced, is earned by inflation. Everything has inflation, right? It just depends on where the inflation is paid out to, who receives the inflation, right? That inflation is paid back to the hex holders that are locking up their hex, staking it, and they're rewarded for locking up their hex. They receive the inflation. Then as well, you also earn from those that are early unstaking, okay? See, those that want to receive hex right away and go, well, you know what, I stake my hex, but I want it back. So they pull out their hex, they cancel their stakes, they're not gonna receive all their hex back and they're not gonna receive their yield. They're gonna receive a portion back. It starts off with a punishment of 90% and it starts to go down the longer it's staked, the longer you get to the end of your term that you said that you're going to stake for. Then all that punishment, all the loss of hex is paid out to those that are still staking. Those rewards are paid to the remaining stakers. Make sense? So the longer you delay your gratification, the more you will receive back in yield. How do you stake some hex? Well, first you got to get some. Wherever you go and buy your crypto, you buy some Ethereum. Okay, because this is right now on the Ethereum blockchain. Soon this will be on the Pulse chain. But right now we are on the Ethereum blockchain and we're dealing with Ethereum. So you need Ethereum. Buy Ethereum and then you're going to send your Ethereum from whatever exchange you're at to your Web3 wallet that is created for DeFi. So we're going to use and I'm going to show you MetaMask. All right, let's open up MetaMask. 
This is MetaMask. This is the wallet we're going to use. It's a Web3 wallet. Okay, it's attached to my browser. You could also use Ledger. It's highly recommended that you use a Ledger wallet. Okay, I use Ledger. Okay, and what you can do is you could simply connect your Ledger wallet to MetaMask so that your private keys is in your Ledger wallet and not on your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so you use it here, but I'm just showing you on a demo on how this works. So you're going to buy your Ethereum on the exchange or wherever you're buying your Ethereum, send it to your MetaMask wallet. You're going to have it here. You're going to need Ethereum for gas fees and then you're going to convert some Ethereum into HEX. So where do you do that? Well, it's all right here on the website. So you come here on the HEX.com website and you'll see right here Ethereum and HEX. Let's use a simple number like 40,000 HEX. So 40,000, it's going to cost you, it looks like it's about $2,848 but in Ethereum it's 1.52 Ethereum so once you have that amount of Ethereum plus a little bit more for your gas fees in your MetaMask wallet you just swap it over for your hex just like that right simple to do click the button you're good to go make sense okay good okay so now that you have hex now you want to stake your hex how do you stake your hex well you're gonna come over here where it says mine because we're going to mine it that's what we're going to do okay click on this button right okay so here we are on the dashboard this is inside the protocol here for the dashboard for staking your hex now okay i'm going to show you how to stake it and then i'm going to share with you a strategy my strategy when it comes to creating what's called ladder stakes for your hex okay so when we're going to keep the same number we're going to keep that 40,000 you want to stake it you just type it in right here your 40,000 hex okay and then you want to choose how long you want to stake it for how long of a term do you want to wait to receive that yield okay, so you decide on that day like maybe it's for example 100 days you know for example so you go in here and you just type in your 100 days then you look over here and you'll see that where it says longer pays better you are going to receive 2,175 hex as a stake bonus for staking for that period of time, which is going to help you for your T shares. Okay. And then your bigger is better. You're going to receive 1.066 hex. Okay. And that will give you 1.575 T shares. And the T shares is what determines your yield. How much of a yield you're going to receive okay you take a t-share which is your share in the pool and then that determines how much your APR or how yeah and how much your APR and what you're gonna receive back with your yield but what I am seeing that you know lately and I've been seeing the numbers that it works out to about around say 10% 14% APY for a year if you stake hex for a year you know maybe if you're staking around say 10,000 20,000 hex for about a year that's what you're going to get okay we're gonna keep this on a really simple number so that you could understand it as I describe a strategy for staking hex I'm gonna use 10% APY how we're gonna do this with the strategy is this we got 40,000 I'm gonna do what's called a ladder staking this is my strategy this is not financial advice right you do what you want to do you come up with your own decisions and make your own strategy a lot of people have several different strategies when it comes to staking hex what I want to share with you is strategy you can create a passive income with ladder staking okay and I'm gonna make it really simple and just use two stakes right I'm gonna take this 40,000 hex and divide it into two so that's 20,000 each go 20,000 for the first stake so I'm going to do two stakes and there's a reason behind this you can do four stakes four stakes would be pretty cool too you can do 12 stakes how often do you want to receive a paycheck that's the question you want to ask yourself actually okay you want to also make it worthwhile when doing these stakes so if you've only got like 40,000 hex maybe you want to do two paychecks twice a year you'll get a paycheck Okay, maybe you want to do 10,000 each stake and have four paychecks once every quarter. Make sense? We're going to stake them for one year. 
So you wanna have a minimum of one year stake. And at the end of the year, you'll receive your hex back plus your yield. Now the first one, if we wanna do this, we go, if you wanna stake one and then wait six months and then stake the next one, you can do that. Or we can just stake them right now, both of them. One of them is gonna have a larger return than the next one. So the first one's 20,000 hex. You're gonna stake it for one year, which is 365 days. So when you look over here, your longer pays better. That is going to be 4,000 hex and your bigger is 0.266 hex. And it's gonna give you an effective hex of 24,000, which then allows you to get 0.896 T-shares. T-shares give you your, is your earning power, your share of the pool from the inflation and from the unstakers. That's gonna give you your yield. And like I said, right now, it could be, you know, uh, you know, 10%, 11, 14, whatever it is. We're gonna use a simple number of 10%. So 10% 10 of 20,000 is what? 2,000, right? So at the end of 365 days, you're gonna get 10% APY, which is 2,000. Follow me? Okay, now we're going to now stake our second one. So our second one is 20,000 again, but this time we wanna stake it for, let's bring up a calculator. What we're gonna do is we're going to go 365, and we're going to divide that by two. That gives us 182.5. The reason why I want to divide it by two because I want six months. I want to show you exactly how this works. We're going to add a year to this now. We're going to go plus 365 equals 547. And we're going to go over here and put 548. So you have one stake that's staked for one year. And then you're going to have another stake that's staked for a year and a half. Following me? Okay. So... At the end of this stake, well, this one's giving you this power. So this one's going to earn a little bit more because you're getting a little bit more earning power. Why? Because you are staking longer. So at the end of this stake, you're going to receive, we're going to keep it simple, our 10%, okay? So your first stake expires in when? One year from now, 365 days. We're going to get our 20,000 back plus our 2,000 yield. We're going to keep 2,000 hex in our wallet, and then we're going to take that principal, the first 20,000 and restake it again for 365 days. This is in one year from, okay? In one year from now, we are restaking this 20,000. Following me? Make sense? Now, in six months from that point, which is a year and a half from now, that second stake will expire. We're gonna take that yield, keep it in our wallet, but we're then going to take principal again and stake it again for 365 days. Makes sense, are you following me here? So every six months, we have a stake that was staked for one year. And we get to get a paycheck every six months from a stake that was staked for one year. I know there's kind of a mouthful there, but does that make sense? Twice a year, we get a paycheck from a stake that was staked for a year. That's pretty cool. Now, if you want that to happen four times a year, you just do what I just explained to you and do it so that that happens four times a year at least stake your stake for a year would be the best thing to do. So that's the strategy. And that's the ladder staking on creating passive income with staking HEX. Whether you have it, there's HEX, there's how you stake it, there's some of my strategy when it comes to staking HEX and creating a passive income with the ladder staking. Now, if you at all found this helpful, if you found some value in this content, you know what to do. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you did find value and what you found most helpful with this video. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are enjoying the content that I am putting out here right now, you know what to do. Click subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. And in the meantime, I should have another video right up about here that I believe YouTube is recommending for you as well. Go check out that video. I'll see you over there and you have a great day. Bye for now.